Money equals value. That's what this video is all about. It's about your value, the value you deliver. It's about the skills you have. So stay tuned because this is a very important topic when you want to become successful in business because it's all about money. And if you might feel resistance when you hear this, you should even continue listening. Because resistance is always the universe knocking on your door like, hey, there is something you can get out of your comfort zone. There is a lesson for you here. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy. And I help uh, self-employed business women to scale from a one-woman business, maybe with a VA, to building a business uh, where you can be highly successful, everybody thrives, and money is never an issue. And you surely will guarantee your results and your business in a year. Now, how cool is that? So let's continue about the topic money. Money makes the world go round. And um, there's, there's a lot of things people can believe around money and depending on what you believe and perceive around money that's exactly how it's going to show up in your business that's a whole different topic though so today we talk about value when people pay you they pay you for your service they pay you for how much value you offer now sometimes they don't know how much value you offer they only know how uh, well, you've been able to either communicate online about the benefits for your client or how uh, good you've been able to sell uh, the product in a call to your potential client. So this is about, initially it's about perceived value. That's the whole selling process. Yeah? Then when you are working with your client or when you send your product, then it's about the actual value. Do they value what you've sent? Do they value what you deliver? If the, and they would have had an opinion about it from how you've sold it, either writing or communicating live. And when it, over, um, when it exceeds their expectation, they perceive it as more value. When it doesn't exceed their expectation, they perceive it as less value. They will then feel they've paid too much. When they perceive it as more value, they will feel they've had a bargain. Interesting, eh? it's the same product, but it's about selling. Now, how well are you at selling? That is about self-value. How much do you value yourself? Can you step away from judging selling? Step away from labeling selling as it is something bad? We all like to be sold to if it's the right product or service. We don't mind that. If it's something which is there at the right moment, we oh no, hold on. We always want to buy. And of course, we then have to be sold to. So we accept that if we are in the buying mode, right? If we're looking for something. So if you are selling, please have that in mind. Your customer is on a buying trip. They want to buy something. So you have to sell. And now here's the value. How much do you value yourself? Do you think what you offer is worth a lot Yes, you probably think that's the case, but are you then bold enough to put a price on it that matches the value? And often that is not the case. There's a whole lot around money and beliefs and self-esteem. People who value themselves a lot, they can sell because they know that something that bridges the gap between the client wanting to buy and you willing to sell and offer that product or service. It's also about your belief about how good are you? Do you feel that you're good enough to serve these people? 
Do you perceive yourself as good enough to be in this world? Maybe that's the case, but maybe not the case on that you're good enough to sell to high ticket people. You would want to, I suppose, because it's, it's a very hot topic. Everybody wants to sell high price. But if you don't value yourself enough, it's not going to work because you'll be saying these things. Well, what if they're not going to buy? What if they see that it's not good enough? What if um, I'm, not be, I'm not able to deliver what they expect? What if it doesn't work? Those are all signals of you not valuing yourself enough. And that's going to show in your communication. That's going to show in, um, in, in, in the vibe you're sending out. And your client somehow is sensing this. They are probably not completely aware of it, but they sense there's something off. So the most important thing before you even consider starting to sell is seeing, are you aligned with the price of the product or service? When you're not, it's not going to work. When you want to have, uh, when you want to sell high prices, you need to work on your self-esteem first, then on your sales skills, and probably first on lead generation because you need to have sales conversations or you need to have sales online communications um, and to be able to have those you need to do lead generation correct so it's all in the same perspective how much do you value yourself if you don't value yourself enough you are hesitant to reach out to people you think you're going to interfere into their personal life. You think they're going to label you as a bad person because they didn't ask for it. You have all this kind of communication. So what? There will be people there who will value that you've reached out to them. And for those, it's what you do. The people who label you, you will never have a conversation with them. They're not your clients. So don't worry about it, what they think about you. It's their way of not being able that you are reaching out from your heart to them, trying to serve them with your product or service. Can you see that? That when they label you about you're in their face, they didn't ask for it. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got, because you come from a good place. It's got everything to do with their perceptions about selling. They probably don't like to sell. They probably are not good at selling. And that's why they label being sold to as bad. Or I haven't asked for it. Interesting, isn't it? So money is about the value of your service. Is about the value of yourself. And about the level of your skills. Now if you see lots of money in your business, all of that is aligned. If you don't see a lot of money in your business, there's work to do. And there's no point just working on lead generation, pricing strategies, sales uh, copy, uh, sales skills, when you do not also work on your self-esteem at the same time. Okay? So there's always, there's never just one thing when there's not money showing up in your business. It can be branding, positioning, a lack of leads, lack of sales skills, not the right uh, client who reaches out to you not the right positioning. There are so many things. So if you want to know what you can do to change your business and skyrocket it in 2022 and double your business in this year, reach out to me because I will offer you a 15 minute call. It's free of charge. I will not be selling you. I will give you tips and you decide if you want to take it to the next level. If you want to have another conversation with me, if I believe I can help you, I will let you know that I want to have another conversation with you. If not, I will also let you know. That's fair, isn't it? So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'm looking forward to inspire you again next week. Bye bye.